Hey guys, welcome to another video. Thanks for joining me in this one. So I hope that you're having a great day. I just wanted to cover some information that I believe could make us a lot of money or could lead to us losing money if we're not careful. Um, it's very important that we stay abreast of future developments in the economy and some news could potentially be the catalyst that would affect or at least impact our finances or at least our investment. So if you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for joining again. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And also, I would appreciate if you could just drop a like on the video. It goes a long way to let me know if you found value in this. Now, I'm an immigrant from Nigeria. I grew up in Nigeria, moved here about 10 years, actually 13 years ago now. And one of the things that I find quite intriguing is finance. And I've tried to work myself into understanding some of this concept. I'm not an expert. I do not know it all. But what I know, I try to share and it has worked for me and it is working for me and I hope that I will continue to get better at it. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you to let you know a little bit of my, about myself, my background. Now, one of the key things that we try to focus on as immigrants or even as anybody is to work on our finances to make sure that we can have the financial uh, stability that we desire and maybe retire early or whatever that may look like for you. That dream is always a personal one. And that could impact how you invest. And that's why you need to understand that you cannot always get financial advice from anybody. You have to look at your situation, look at your age, look at your time, look at your plans and your situation in general to determine what would work best for you. And of course, it's always worth speaking with a professional financial advisor because it just helps to focus on you, get a personal service. So understand that my recommendations uh, to you are not always going to be what is best for you. So that's why you have to think for yourself and think about your situation, think about your risk, risk tolerance to pick the right you know, investment for yourself. So I think that's good enough. So this week, this week that we are uh, starting, there's so many developments that could make the stock market a wild place. And when I'm in a wild place, I'm talking about a lot of volatility in the stock market. And I'm expecting that this week. And that is because of some uh, developments that are going to that, that will come up. One of them is a lot of earnings will be released this week, especially from the smaller banks. We've been getting some information from the big banks like JP Morgan Chase and uh, the other one is Wells Fargo. And they've really beat the expectations. And that is really good for the market. On the other hand, we have some of those small banks or the smaller banks that will be reporting earnings in this week and that could potentially rock the stock market depending on their results or their earnings. Of course, Bank of America also will be reporting earnings this week. But the big one, which actually, let me show you this. The big, let me switch to that. The big companies that will be reporting this week is Charles Schwab. So it's CHW will be reporting. Johnson & Johnson will be reporting. We have Bank of America on Tuesday as well. And then we have uh, Lockheed Martin will be reporting as well. On Wednesday, however, we have a lot of information that will come to us. P&G will report, Tesla will report. Uh, we have another big one, which is Netflix. And of course, USB, which is another bank. And we have so many other banks that are reporting. And then on Thursday, we have American Airlines AT&T. Now, and of course, on, on Friday will be American Express. All these uh, earnings from these companies could potentially rock the stock market a lot. But we are not done yet because after this report, during the week as well, we still have, expect the Fed to have some meetings over the course of the week. But a lot of focus is on Thursday, which is when Jerome Paul will be speaking in regards to some of the information that will be released throughout the week and that leads me to the economic calendar like if you look on monday we have some of the feds president patrick harker speaks and on tuesday we have the u.s retail sales will be reported of course we have the next one is own builder confidence confidence index that will also be reported and of course business inventories now all this would really go into the Fed's ability to decide on what to do with interest rates. As we know, they've been raising interest rates 
for the last you know year now up to 12 times at this point but there's still a chance that it may increase it even in november and the the consensus is that they're good there's a chance of a one in three chances that they will probably increase the rate one more time about maybe 0.25 increase again now that is not certain yet it all depends on the uh economic data that is being that will be released over the course of the week now um like i said jerome paul will speak on thursday now depending on what it says will determine how the stock market will probably end on friday the hope is that the stock market is able to handle this and investors are not too emotional but of course we know that the stock market has taken a beating if we go back to the spy etf which is you know tracks the 500 companies that is held in the s p 500 we have uh, that last year which I, if i go up to let's go about two years all right you can see that in the last two years or so about a year ago the stock market was much higher but we've made some gains because we dropped all the way down to low of about 370 357 and we are now back in the range of about 431. now the estimate sits that if the market this week reacts to whatever news that will be reported the earnings the jerome Powell speech if it reports pretty well we might see the stock market go up to around 450 460 range back to the resistance that we see here which is one is at about 451 and this is not moving as i want it to move and then the next one is about around 459 as well in the market and that to me will be a very strong indication that you know the investors are reacting positively to the news on the other hand if there's so much negative negativity in the, in the market well we can see the market drop down to a, to the support which most the strong support sits around 420 um this thing doesn't move as i expected to move around 420 is where the strong support sits and of course, we have lower support around 405 and 415 as well. So the goal here is whatever we are doing this week, we need to plan ahead to know what we're going to do. We have to have a plan. For example, if the stock market drops, do you plan to scoop up some good companies? On the other hand, if the stock market goes up, do you plan to sell some of your profitable positions and maybe reallocate your funds to investments that you find more value in you know you need to think about that you need to have that game plan going into this week because that would help you to be more strategic and take opportunities when they present themselves now the goal like i said is hopefully to just to share this with you to make it quick and short and i hope that you found value in it prepare for the week and let me know what your the thoughts let me know your thoughts in the comment section below let me know what you think about the stock market let me know what you will do if the stock market goes up or if it goes down I have my plan and like i've already shared with you if it goes up of course i'll look at my some of my profitable positions that i know that i'm not planning to hold for a long term i'll probably exit them the ones that i'm planning to hold for a long term i'll probably stay in them for the ones that are uh, that i consider uh if somebody goes down well, what am i going to do at that point i'm looking for valuable companies that i like that i want to invest in long term and probably scoop them up i hope that you found value in this one i'll see you in the next one